This episode is about Saint Hermenegild, whose example of unwavering faith in the face of persecution continues to inspire Catholics around the world today. Hermenegild's courageous stand for his faith inspired many others to follow in his footsteps, and he was eventually canonized as a saint in the Catholic Church. In the 6th century, in the kingdom of the Visigoths, there lived a king named Leovigild, who was an Arian follower. Hermenegild was the eldest son of Louisvigild and his first wife. They were educated in Arianism. As he grew older, Hermenegild became increasingly disillusioned with his father's beliefs and the way he treated Christians in his kingdom. Hermenegild married Injondes, a zealous Catholic, the daughter of Sigibert, king of France. Her example from the faith and direction of Saint Leander, Bishop of Seville, persuaded the prince to renounce his errors, becoming a true Christian. As a prince in Spain, he was honored by all Catholics. But his father was not happy with his beliefs nor his influence. His father demanded for him to return to Arianism, but he refused. His father denounced him as a traitor and sent soldiers to arrest Hermenegild. Hermenegild tried to rally the Christians of Spain in his defense, but they were too weak to make any stand. Sorry for interrupting the video. I am here to deliver a quick message. If you think our channel has given you $5 worth of knowledge, then can you take a moment to make a donation? Please don't skip the video. 99.8% of our viewers simply skip this, or many think they will donate later and forget. If you make a small donation now, then we can keep making good videos like this one. You can choose to support us through Patreon or make a one-time donation through PayPal. The links are given in the description box below. If you are one of our rare donors, we warmly thank you. You have shown the world access to good content matters to you. Thanks again, and God bless. After a two years fruitless struggle, Hermenegild surrendered on the assurance of a free pardon. His father, despite the promise he made, exiled Hermenegild in disgrace to Valencia. Hermenegild relayed to his father not swaying from his faith. I confess your goodness to me has been extreme. I will preserve to my dying breath the respect, duty, and tenderness which I owe you. But is it possible that you should desire me to prefer worldly greatness to my salvation? I value the crown as nothing. I am ready to lose scepter and life too, rather than abandon the divine truth. On Easter Eve, his father tried to seduce him to change his mind, but Hermenegild refused again. King Leovigild heard this. He was furious that his son would not relent. Tortures and bribes were in turn employed to shake his faith. But Hermenegild wrote to his father that he regarded the crown as nothing and preferred to lose scepter and life rather than betray the truth of God. Then the king sent soldiers who were sent to execute him. They found the saint fearless and ready to receive the stroke of death. 
he knelt with joy for his death stroke, praying for his persecutors. They struck him with an axe over the head, instantly killing him. After a few days, Leo Vigild felt so much over his actions and the loss of his son. He suffered silently for many months, and while he was on his deathbed, he made a request to the Bishop Leander. The king requested the bishop to instruct his son, recur it to the truth about Christ and his divinity. Even though Leovigild himself didn't convert, King Ricard and the whole kingdom of the Visigoths in Spain converted to the truth. Hermenegild received the crown of martyrdom on the 13th of April, 586. His body remains at Seville. He was only 30 years old. Today, Saint Hermenegild is revered as a saint and martyr in the Catholic Church. His feast day is celebrated on April 13th, the day of his martyrdom. He is known for his unwavering faith and devotion to Catholicism, even in the face of persecution and death. The victory of Saint Hermenegild teaches us that constancy and sacrifice are the best arguments for the faith and the surest way to win souls to God. O oh God, you taught blessed Hermenegild, your martyr, to value the kingdom of heaven more than an earthly throne. Grant, we pray you, that following his example, we may despise all transitory things and seek those that are eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who being God, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.